in almost every loudspeaker, the most fragile part is the high frequency driver, small wires, and they can take very short overloads before they go bad. There's been a number of approaches that have been done over the years to, uh, to help protect high frequency drivers, so the industry has realized that that's been a problem. The problem with most of them is that they'll actually start to kick in long before the driver gets to be a protection uh, or needs the actual protection. And the name Sentinel came up because it accu accurately describes what it's doing. It's standing guard. It's not doing anything. It's letting everything get going about its daily business. But when there's a problem, then it reacts and then it then it kicks in and does its thing. And then when the problem's gone, it just gets out of the way. It works more behind the scenes until, unless you do gross over uh, overloads, you're not even going to notice. It's, it's very subtle. It's one of the things that I'm most proud of with, with Dan Lee. The Sentinel circuit that Ivan has come up with, he's, he's melded two ideas together where he has more of a continuous long-term, continuous to long-term type of a limiting circuit, and then he has a peak stop type limiting circuit. Uh, we've done several tests uh, listening ourselves, and you know, at the levels that you would ever hear Sentinel kicking in are levels that you would never want to hear anything, whether Sentinel was there or not. I mean, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, I would say it's invisible to your ear. And at the point that it would be visible is a point that the speaker is in the zone of being damaged. When it reaches the threshold of where it's needed, it does kick in and uh, it, takes, it takes some of that uh, abuse off of the the drivers. All the Danley products, all the full range Danley products have got the Sentinel in there and we do offer for people that have older Danley products that would like the Sentinel, we have little add-on boards that you can just, the customer can just uh, take the product apart, uh, bolt, the, bolt the thing in there, wire it up real simple and they can get the full Sentinel protection that's just like in the modern ones. Um, they can add it to their existing product without having to buy a whole new crossover. To me, it's the clever use of using some ideas that have been done in the past, combining all of them together, and um, yes, it's more expensive, but we also get a lot better uh, performing product and, and something that is much more hi-fi over the entire working range because, the, like I said earlier, some of them, they'll start to kick in 10 or 15 dB before you, before you actually enter the damage zone and the problem with that is the sonic character changes with level. We don't want the sonic character to change. We want it to stay the same, but when you decide you're gonna push it a little bit too hard, it's gonna be there and act like the governor on your car to pull you back a little bit and say, we're gonna, we're gonna keep you in a safe operating uh, mode and so that you can, uh, uh, the performance can continue.